This is awesome! You want, you want a wristband? I want yeah, a lanyard. I want a wristband. I want, Put it on my um, arm for okay, me. Okay, okay. <laughs> Let's take one of each. One of we each! We got some wristbands. Yay! Oh, what else? Oh, what? Yeah, give me them all. Yeah. I want to be like John. Woo! Woo! Yay! Lanyard! Give me, give me! 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 There were a lot of issues in stage three that I think uh, led to us having a pretty average stage. A lot of it not easily resolvable, you know, just like media obligations and, uh, uh, you know, poor sleep schedules because of it and just a lot, of, a lot of things adding to what could be called, I guess, a domino effect, just like making people play not as good as they should be. I think this week was definitely like a combination of factors. Um, like all the stuff we had to do was, was definitely annoying that we had like a lot of um, demands out of, outside of the game that we had to fulfill, um, like job requirements basically. So it definitely like cut heavily into our prep time and our like personal practice time, uh, which ultimately just cuts into our sleep time, uh, which never, we never seem to have enough of. I don't think it's really an excuse. I think it's the reality of the Overwatch League schedule. And I think with uh, the way that we have our team staff working, like me, I haven't been able to be around as much as I'd like to. Uh, been mainly like doing more, I guess like the logistics kind of stuff behind the scenes, trying to make everything right, like outside of the gaming world for everyone. But um, I think even if I was there, there was a lot of uh, a lot of problems with like our practice, and because the players themselves were not sleeping well because of all the other media stuff that they've had to do, and so it's a pretty hectic stage actually, and it went by pretty quick because of everyone being so busy. I just wish we had more time to dedicate in between matches to preparing for matches, but I think with the addition of Kai Kai, I think that'll help us a lot more for next stage. So I'm looking forward to that. Not interesting at all. Like, the wins oh, is going to take 300. Again, like, but why? Then why do we push that? If they're if they're committing that many people, you don't even go in there. You say, okay, you can have it. Fuck it. And then your drunkard just stands out there and spins the doorway. Oh God, the beat. Oh, oh no, bro. Fuck. <laughs> During the last week of the stage, uh, Tyrong was also sick. So in addition to me not being there as much as I'd like, uh, Tyrong wasn't there for maybe like the first half of the week, but it became very apparent that the team was suffering without him there taking a lead. So even though he was sick, he came in, um, worked as hard as he could. I think that was a big factor, but uh, in my eyes, ultimately, a lot of our problems this this week and and in general i think over the over the the past few weeks have been it's just more difficult i feel for us to adequately prepare um, for the same match as someone else maybe because of like the way we uh, like the process we undertake as a team to get ready um, and also partly because i feel like we never i mean i guess everyone wants to like call it the tracer problem or say that um, we don't have anyone who can play tracer and i don't think that's really the problem more generally, the, there's been a problem with like finding a way to get the maximum value out of our roster, I guess, and to like put everyone in a situation where you know they're comfortable and trying to like balance that perfectly. Um, and we, I think we've had some success like bringing in more members of the roster and not just sticking to like one starting six. Um, I think that's been really helpful in a lot of ways and like alleviating burdens. Um, but for me personally, I, I feel that because I'm not so strong in the character, I need to have um, more specific game plans and more individual preparation just so I can like play my role properly properly. I feel bad because I feel like that kind of detracts from other things in the team, right? Like in order for your team to have a, you know, a successful strategy, it kind of brings all the members together and everyone has their own little pieces to it. 
But the more flexible any one player is, the less that the overall team has to plan around them. They can focus on another player, um, you know, build the strategies around them, and then you know, use their strong players on their comfortable roles to just you know, play the game, as it were, just sort of you know, like support other people's plays. Um, and I feel like I've not been able to do that in the past two stages, at least um, not on when, I, when I'm playing Tracer mostly, which is the hero I'm not so comfortable on. This is awesome. You want, you want a wristband? I want yeah, a lanyard. I want a wristband. I want, Put it on my um, arm for okay, me. Okay, okay. <laughs> Let's take one of each. One of we each. We got some wristbands. Yay! Oh, oh, what else? Ten. What? Ten. Give me them all. Ten. I want to be like John. Woo! Woo! Yay! Yay! Give me, give me. Give me, give me. Give me. Yes, boys! Together! Band together! I want a team Up the Annie! Let's go! I need a lanyard! I need a purple one for Team Mobile! What is happening? Look at this! Hands! I love hands! I love free stuff! Everyone gets this stuff! Oh my god! Oh my god! Cars! Look at this! 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 I'll take a couple of these for later. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What the f you, you just took them all! You took all my pins. I was the pin. He's a pin hoarder. You can't have them all. <laughs> Do you like this? Do you like the sound of this, Sean? Alright guys, uh, on a serious note, we just got a huge box of all these um, band together goodies. Um, we got buttons, bands, lanyards, stickers, everything a growing boy needs. Um, but if you're more interested about finding out more about our watch parties, uh, you can check out watchoutlaws.gg. I don't actually care, don't answer. <laughs> Did you just choke on your banana? I had a bad feeling going against Shock, personally, because uh, I feel like the team has always performed kind of poorly versus uh, Sombra. And with uh, Dante being on Shock, and I consider him probably one of the best Sombras in the league, uh, I knew that we were probably underprepared going into it, but like I said before, like with all the different things going on in our practice lives and just personal lives and everything with media, it was kind of hard to kind of get them in the right mindset. And so um, I didn't expect them to lose. You know, you always want your team to win. But I knew that we were going to have a hard time. Uh, it was just, um, I wish that we could have done more to prepare them. That allows Mock to come forward to get a resurrect on Nevix. Now the Shock have their Diva player back. Super's being pocketed by Mock right now, but he has to take cover to avoid the self-destruct. Architect with two. Both supports down to his hand. The Genji play really stepping up a notch here for the San Francisco Shock. Beautiful turnaround. Architect's got some blade charges left. It's Super. Gets her home. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyone sitting there just makes it yeah, cold, and exactly. it's an entirely different play. I think it's like... Architect from above found one. Lynx is down. Any more? Yes! Raucous falls. He'll be looking for more now. That's going to be a D-suit there straight into self-destruct by Cool Man. He needs a mech very badly right now. But Sinatra's dealt with Cool Man and that's it! Map 5. San Francisco taking this one all the way. Oh, they got Raucous. That could be it. It's going to be any role. Oh, and they got Jimmy Barney Bunny's as well. Down. No, the Shock have got pretty much all of their options taken away from them now. The, the Outlaws, should I say. The Shock are in a great spot. But Architect has an EMP. He'll be more than happy to use it. But it won't be any option. The Houston Outlaws. Yeah, I think definitely making so many map fives was um, difficult for us. Maybe because we're like when you when you feel like when you make it to map five that the series is super tight and it could have gone either way. Um, but it feels bad because I think Oasis has never been a particularly good map for us. Th this stage and last stage, I think the tiebreak Koth maps have been like maps we don't like and aren't very good at, um, which I think is a little unfortunate. But. Um, I mean, on the one hand, you can be like sad that we didn't make it and we're like, you know, oh man, we came so close, but we just failed in the last stretch. Um, but at the same time, I think that's, it's like, I'm proud of it that we were able to come so close so many times. I know it doesn't mean much in terms of like wins in the standings. Um, but I definitely, I feel a lot better about a loss where we went 2-3 than a loss where we went 4-0, obviously. You're able to isolate the reasons you lost, I think, in a 2-3 because you're able to say here on these maps, like what were our mistakes? Um, when you get just rolled over, like in the soul loss, it's, it's very hard to like, it's, I think it's even more difficult to learn from those games because sometimes it feels like you're being outplayed and other times it feels like you're being out strategized and, you know, isolating those instances is more difficult when there's more of them. I think we were not expecting soul 
to do like as well as they did with the new lineup. And I think that kind of caught us off guard. But um, similar to Kai Kai, I, I think that the team did feel very defeated. Um, they weren't as energetic as they should have been, and they weren't as energetic as they were before and dur uh, throughout the whole season. And I felt like everyone was just kind of like going through the motions, you know. Aside from maybe Muma and Rockus, who are still like very vocal, and everyone else is like kind of silent and kind of just, you know, just tired of it all, kind of. And I think uh, that got into their heads because Overwatch is definitely a very mental game, as well as just being mechanically good. It's also just keeping your head level and. Uh, Kind of goes back to how many uh, how many three two losses that we had. Uh, that, that's also a very uh, mental game, being able to reset in your mind uh, that all that matters is having that three maps. You know, and it can be in any order. It could be you know the first three maps, and then you're good. You could be two maps, and then you lose one map, and then it doesn't matter. All that matters is that you win three maps, and it's it's kind of like a hard mental game for the team to to learn. Boomer though, but Lynx, he gets very little with that Dragon Blade, and Flatter might just do a bit better, he does! And three kills! That's what you're looking for if you're Soul, this is how you stem the bleeding! That self-destruct there, won't do a whole lot from Cool Matt. Soul have control of the point, they're not gonna leave it for any reason! It's a shutout! He's trying to get away from the licking tendrils of the, of the Tesla gun from Muma. Wakeen, uncontested in the backside. Muma trying to get rid of j but j doesn't care. He's not a coward. He jumps in there and he gets that Primal Rage. Now it's just Jake on the payload, desperately trying to kick this running. Raucous off on the side, but he's too fragile! I don't think necessarily that Stage 3 was a failure. I think that we definitely failed at uh, preparing our team well enough for their matches, but I think it was very apparent that we could still compete with the with the other teams, you know, like if we didn't lose our 3-2 matches, we would have been like 8-2 and two or something like that, but it's just, it was just a matter of, I think, um, on the staff more than the players. I don't want people to blame the players, even though they sometimes, you know, they're so hard on themselves and they talk about how bad they played one day and it's like, sure, you know, they, you might not have been playing 100%, but still, like, if we could have prepared them a little bit more, you know, then I think that we could have just snuck out the wins and it wouldn't matter, you know. The thing about hindsight is that a lot of people one day will say, like, oh, this team is, like, the best team in the world, you know, and then the next day it's like they barely lose, oh, this team is complete garbage, you know. It's like you can't, you can't take everything to heart, otherwise you'll drive yourself insane. And uh, some of our players are very emotional. They do, they do take everything to heart and sometimes you just have to sit them down and just let them know that it's going to be okay. You know, we got next stage. I don't think stage three um, was a failure. Mostly because I feel like I learned a lot this stage and I like came to understand a lot of things better. Initially in stage two when I set about, you know, learning a new character and like playing different, uh, kind of a slightly different role within the team. I was so focused on like the gameplay aspect of it that I thought that that was kind of all that mattered for me as a player, um, was that gameplay. Um, and then I think, you know, in stage three, some of these losses and, and just the overall experience of it, like the, the way that we lost, uh, the reasons that we lost, you know, all those game fives. Um, I think that to me shows that I needed to, you know, maybe even relax a little on the gameplay aspect of things and then, you know, focus on my contributions in other aspects for the team. The learning experience that I feel now of like failing to do that and like seeing why that failure was bad and why that, like I kind of had to step back from the stage, I think, to even see that. I definitely had to have stage three be what it was for, to learn those things and to see, I think, like a better path for the future. Yo, what's up? It's your boys here, the Outlaws. We're going to the zoo. Go check out some animals. Let's go. Let's go look at them. <laughs> Well, who's has to breathe? I never breathe. Like <laughs> <you're> not, <laughs> not in public. Not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's rock with the roller. That's an alpha right there. Don't scare them away, Flame. You're so big. Oh, they don't like me. They're going to be a super leader. Oh, this one. Yo, look how cool. It. Dude, there's so much reinforcements <laughs> right there. Reinforcements have arrived. See all those flamingos back there? There's like another. Look, John, go from this angle. Look how many there are. They're probably just eating algae and cleaning their beaks. It's an army. No, that one. They're definitely asleep. 
No, dude. All of these are awake. You no, they're using blinking. blinking. No, they're this one's fine. like looking at. Oh my god, the oh, army. Hi. Oh, he's the bird. He's doing stuff with his. Don't be these dragons. Yeah, this guy's about to jump off his rock. Animals are great. I love animals. <laughs> it's just so cool, you know? <laughs> this is in the rain ladder. He wouldn't be going very far. <laughs> well, he's not going very far. Look at this guy. He's tough. He's like, he just rides cactuses. This is like oddly uncomfortable. Oddly? It's made of straw. It's yeah, but it's like hard. Good. Yeah, it's like, it's like epoxy and straw. Yeah, it's like ready. I feel like I'm ready to like go into like a work area. Do you think it works? It works. You need some like mosquito netting on your head. I don't have no crank. It doesn't crank. It's fine. Look at him go, dude. What do they think of next? Oh, which one's gonna win? This is like battle stegosaurus. Oh, mine won. I'm told. <laughs> Look at him. I kind of want to just like go in there and just like really just like put my hand around. Yeah, his... they're crocodiles. You, you just want to like you know like stop their mouth from opening. No, you don't like... do that. That's yeah, how you get your hand bitten off. You just like, you just like close it and it's just like I can't do anything. I got this tiny ass mouth. Yeah, How's your like churro Sunday? We'd have like good. Kids, you know, like kids tours. And Got everything you can yeah, want. Yeah, we can do kids tours. Churro, like ice cream, whipped cream, Hired, chocolate. Can I get a churro Sunday? Good. These guys own dude. They're exercising. Oh, oh my god. They're, they're, they're they training for the Olympics. Was, they have crazy strong jaws, I'm pretty sure. I think, I'm pretty sure they like crush bones. I'm like 99% sure that they crush bones. Mm. Right, he's he's juice. Gas. He's gas. We missed the little room. And then you, you go up to the wallaby and you put the shopping bag in front of him and he'll fall into it. Can you not get antibiotics in time? Or? Come on up, drive. No, 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 you die too quickly. These guys are sick. You know how these guys hunt? Sneak up on some like big game, like a big like bison or something. Water buffalo. The, water buffalo. They'll literally, I'm not kidding, the water buffalo. They'll like bite its leg. They'll sneak up on it in the mud, bite its leg. And what they do is they just like shake you around and like what bring the them in the mud they bring them in the mud the komodo dragon can smell when there's like a wounded animal that's like bleeding it's very fun actually i've seen pretty cool animals they're but this is your first time at a zoo in america or no yeah actually yeah it's the first time <laughs> there's a rhino bird there's a rhino bird <laughs> i want to feel it's one. like what's that what was that game spore four yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got some gray hair so old. So old. Oh, Silver fox. So old. Like me. I had a connection with that guy over there, the Look one that has the blanket. They all have blankets. Everyone's got blankets. We just locked eyes. You know, shared some understanding. Squatting up. They're running duos in Fortnite. What is he doing? Look at this. Look his hands. He's cleaning up the floor. His hands are so f***ing big. How's that fair? <laughs> he outran Wiley Coyote. I know that one. I know that guy. <laughs> I love that yeah, the, the, the hair is like the same. The stripes are just perfectly matched yeah. up with the, yeah, for, with the nice. name. Give me food. <laughs> They're sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> A newborn giraffe is six feet tall. It's actually crazy. A newborn giraffe's taller than I am. <laughs> How's that feel fact? Feels bad. <laughs> but hey, it happens. It's a ring-tailed lemur. Oh, is he doing over there? <laughs> he's talking. He's having, he's having a good time. Can you even read lips? <laughs> he's saying... He's out of here. He's... <laughs> <laughs> He's saying, I guess these animals are like chill to live with all the other animals. Yeah, they're they're yeah. Most... They, they eat small animals. They eat rodents. Yeah, but this is a big boy. Yeah, I mean, these are pretty medium sized. You know? The cooter's big. It's yeah, but they're squirrels. The doigers, like, okay, it's like yeah. a big. Oh, oh yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah, is there another view that we can get? Yeah. I don't want to get any closer. It's free what's happening. I don't know. The baboons are, have become restless. These monkeys are diabetic. Look at it. It's so oh, tall. Huh? No. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, you broke, broke it. it. <laughs> I might sell so somebody. <laughs> Sounds like it's, he was named by a, a Japanese. Oh, Whoa. This Whoa. guy is crazy. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, bro. Whoa. He looks pretty happy to me. <laughs> Look at him, he's so happy. Is that what? your first time seeing an elephant? Yeah. Ever? Yeah, ever. It's cool. <laughs> pretty big. <laughs> That's smart. Oh, nice jump. This little guy's a maniac. We're so different than all the other animals. Yeah. We're so different, but we're also 
Let's Yeah, it's just like our Oh, we're gonna pull right? him down! Oh, he fell! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and then he just runs away. Oh, oh my god. Damn, dude. Whoa. He's right oh, here. Oh, little guy. Oh, that sure. was very fluid, actually. That was. Yeah, yeah you, these guys run around and you know, okay, they're chilling. It's Turtle and the Tramp. Look, they're splitting a carrot together. Oh. It's literally, you're missing, this is gold, oh my this god. This is prime content, Johnny. You, you would do anything in the world for a billion dollars? Would, would you kill a eat, man? Eat one skill yes. sample from <laughs> every animal in the zoo. Yes, of course. A billion dollars is a lot of money. Like with a, when, you, when you say it with a B, that's, that's just a different the B kind of is, thing. The B is serious. Yeah. That's a whole lot of money. <laughs> What'd you get? A red panda on a stick, hello? <laughs> it's all the rage. Yo, what's up guys? Just finished our visit at the zoo. Unfortunately, we didn't see any narwhals here. Apparently, the zoo agrees with our no John policy. <laughs> My father's red panda, it owns. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah.